And tonight's the um, Saracen Sport Association Awards evening and um, fate seemed to have dealt us a, a, a rough hand again in the fact that one of our, in fact two of our awardees are unable to, to travel down this evening, um, which is bad news in some respects. Um, the good news is of course you avoid endless uh, requests for selfies and autographs and an interview with Ed Clark. No, uh, that, that's worth it then. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> bad news is you've got me. But <laughs> um, I mean, you have uh, voted the international player of the season, so that's really looking at all of those players out of the Saracen squad who were playing for their international um, teams last season. And uh, you've come up top of the heap. And um, before I actually hand over this magnificent doorstop to you, what um, <coughs> what um, what I was going to say is that you know it's exactly a year ago today we were in between the first game against Fiji in the World Cup yeah. and the two that followed that. But yeah. I guess we don't want to talk too much about that. But um, you know what happened after that, of course, and, and the way that the your international season spanned out was um, you know a lot of change. Had a very strong Saracens influence in the England squad. Um, what was your view of that? You know, how did that feel? Did it seem was it a major change? Or? Uh, well, it's obviously a, a change. Yeah, There's, you know, different different coaches bring different things. So it's um, obviously it's going to be it's going to be different. Uh, you know, so it's, there's a, there's a few things that go on. You know, you go through you go through the downs to hopefully enjoy enjoy the ups. So um, you know, it was ready. For, it was time for us to, to kick on and. And try and push and, and, and be better and learn from learn from what we did in the in the World Cup and learn from our experiences and and, and kick on and thankfully we've done that so far. Mm -hmm. So a really remarkable season, um, you know, Grand Slam across the um, Six Nations and then the whitewash down in Australia. Mm -hmm. So what what are your best memories out of that? Anything in particular? Um, <laughs> all of it, yeah. It's just, <laughs> no, it, you know, the, the Six Nations is a brilliant tournament and and something that we've been uh, close to for a while, um, just never quite, never quite got the uh, in the time that I've been playing. So um, to get to get the your hands on the trophy at the end and, and not just actually win the Grand Slam was was pretty special. And then to go down to Australia and, and uh, do something that's never been done before again, um, it was it's been a it's been a good year all around really. Yeah. And um, really, that sort of brings me to the award because that's something that. Um, you know, across the Saracen supporters, we've uh, readily recognised your contribution to, to the entire um, success of that England side. And uh, it's with great pleasure, um, you know, I'd like to hand over this award in recognition of all you've achieved there over the course of the season. Thank you very much. <coughs> Cheers. And, um, you know, just to wrap up, um, obviously we're, we're anxious to see you back on the pitch again. Um, so am I. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> so be assured that uh, as soon as you're there, we're right there behind you and, and willing you on, not only with England, of course, but with Harris as well for the coming season. Thanks very so much. So all the very best wishes Cheers. for that. Thank you.